Listen, here is the question. Did Disney get it right? Did Disney get it right? Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. Listen, I am Spiller Boy TV and this is Kitchen Table Talk Live with Spiller Boy TV. And as I said before, I have a question here. Did Disney actually get this right? And what I'm talking about, the this that I'm talking about is The Little Mermaid. There's a trailer that actually came out this week and it's a really short trailer, but the tra it's dynamic. It's very dynamic. It's a very short piece that has a lot going on. It has a lot going on. Um, I had a lot of thoughts going through my head while watching that little short trailer. It was like 45 seconds or so. Um, maybe a little longer than that. It, it wasn't very long. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe it could have been a minute and 15 seconds. I don't know, but it was very short. But there was just so much going on that I actually had to watch it a few times. So we know that we have Holly Bailey that is going to be playing Ariel in the real movie adaptation to The Little Mermaid. Now, let me just start off by saying this. I'm not a real big fan of cartoon movies. I don't really do the cartoon movie thing. I'm a big kid, big kid at heart. I still love like X-Men and all that kind of stuff. I love superheroes and all of that, but just never, I was never big on cartoons. Cartoons were cool. And then I kind of outgrew cartoons. So I was, I'm not an adult that really watches cartoons. So I said all that to say this, I've never actually watched The Little Mermaid. I've never watched the movie in its entirety, though it is such an epic, legendary story that I pretty much know the full story from seeing other things that is actually turned into over the years that it's been in existence. It, well, I can't talk today since it's been in its existence. So um, that just tells you how powerful of a story it is, how legendary it actually really is. I know the songs, I know the characters, um, of course, everybody knows the sea witch. Well, she's not a witch. She's a, well, I guess she's a witch. Yeah, she's a witch, but she's like an octopus. You, you know who she is. You're too late, her. Everybody, everybody knows. Ursula. Everybody knows. I know these characters. Keep singing. I know all of that stuff. I've seen those clips. They're legendary. I know them. I know the story. So I, I got a little nervous with it anyway i said very interesting how are they going to do this how are they going to take this from being a cartoon because in the cartoon she's just so cute and she really is a, a princess she's a princess she's just a different kind of princess she's half fish and half woman and she's a mermaid mermaids are always great mermaids are groovy again i love fantasy i love all that stuff but how are you going to bring her across to the children, because this is what we're doing. This is for children. This is not for adults. This is for children. Now, adults are going to enjoy this because the people who were children, for the most part, when this came out, are now young adults. So the, everybody's going to be there. And I'm included. I'm going to be there. Now, I've never watched the cartoon movie. I may actually watch the movie before this actually releases and then go ahead and see it um just same as with the lion king i had never watched lion king and then i went to the actual movie though i think this is actually going to be better i actually think this is going to be better i'm gonna tell you why so here's where my fears were okay because i said how are you going to make a mermaid first of all make her look real okay they've done it before they've done it before so you know, our people who take care of these things with makeup and prosthetics and all these things, they're amazing. And we have theater people that can actually do that. They can definitely bring a mermaid to life. That's not a problem. 
We've been doing that for years, okay? But here's the thing about mermaids. It's easy for Ariel to be this princess and this sweet, sweet girl and all these things and very pretty and, and, and really resonate with the children as a cartoon because all it takes is this and you can make it be whatever you want. Now, once you, and she's actually, she's, she's a, a, a young woman. She's a young woman, but you can still soften her up and make her child ready, okay? But once you start dealing with an actual young woman, an actual young woman, it's there. it takes on a different difficulty because when you look at the depiction of mermaids and movies and things like that, they're very sexualized. They're very sexual. The actual story of a mermaid or a siren is always they encapsulate men. And it's very, they're always very sexualized. And remember, your fish from the waist down, you know, your, your, your fish from the waist down, and then you're a woman from the waist up. So it's always a situation of nudity that actually is there it's all it's body conscious it's it's it, it's always sexualized usually we'll take and cover the breasts with hair or whatever like that like in the cartoon they just just put a little seashells up there and it's very cute well it's not the same thing when you're dealing with a woman and and Hallie Bailey is she's a woman she's a woman and she has breasts so just a little seashell I don't know. I said, how is this going to happen that we can make this appropriate, appropriate and not sexualize her? And the story is very much a love story between a woman, a mermaid and a man. It's very much a, an adult story adapted and cutied for children. OK, so. That's what made me nervous. I said, how are we going to do it? How are we going to do it and it don't look fake? How are we going to do it and it don't look all corny and claymation? What are we going to do? Well, I'm here to tell you, Disney has always been who they are for a reason. They're the best to have ever done it. And they did not disappoint this time. They did it. And it is done very well. Very well. I'm going to tell you, when you first start you get the background. You're just seeing that you're underwater. And I said, okay, we definitely are underwater. And we see sea life down there. And it's like actual sea life. So I'm like, okay. So everything doesn't look all fake and, and computerized. Everything looks real. I'm like, this is cool. Okay, no problem. Let's go. Here we go. Because I know a lot of money got spent here. And then I said, oh, I got nervous again. Because let me tell you about me and fish. Fish are not very attractive to me. Sea life itself is not very attractive to me. It definitely makes me wince. And I'd be like, ugh. And I don't I don't know how some people are going to take this in this video, but you know I'm going to say this is kitchen table talk. My kitchen table. So I hope I don't offend anyone. But if I do, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. But Fish, for me, it's not the best looking stuff, okay, when it's not cooked. And I don't know if that's just my thing, but you let me know in the comments if any of you feel that. Like, do you, when I see raw fish, I just wince. And I don't know if it's the smell of it. I think it's the whole thing. Even just going into the fish market, I just be like, oh, God. You know, and it's to a point where I've gotten used to it. I'm 50 years old. So, I mean, I've gotten used to it, but I still get that ugh, when I go into a fish market. Only thing here, and I used to love fish. I can't eat fish now. So I don't have it happen very often, but I got a fish allergy at the age of 27. Sucks. Oh, it sucks because I know how good it actually is. But this, I was talking about that. I'm talking about this. Go back. Down off my soapbox, but don't boom, boom, bam, and I'm back. Listen, listen, just, just work with me. I'm, we're at my kitchen table. Just work with me. Anyway, fish in its live state, all of them, all the fish, and even the pretty ones, it's like, 
I don't want it to touch me. I don't want to be near it. Like I'll never go like scuba diving or anything like that where I'm, first of all, I know my lane. I wasn't born with gills. I wasn't born with scales or any of that. So I really feel like that's their, that's their stuff. Swimming in a pool, cool. Jumping in the ocean, he's not doing it. He's not doing it. He's not having any scuba. You know, I would literally just die if something goes past me and touches me. And especially anything like eels and things that look like snakes, I cannot. I would just heart attack right there, boom, dead in the water. Um, but all of them, all of them, dolphins, sharks, all of them, even fake things such as mermaids, um, I just, mm -mm. And the, the thing that came to mind was Daryl Hannah and Splash. That's like one of my favorite movies from when I was younger. And they did a really good job making her into the mermaid. But as much as I loved her in the movie, because you, you literally fall in love with Daryl Hannah in the movie right from the beginning. When you see her, you just want to hug her until she is actually a mermaid and they actually show her up for up close and I did not want to hug her. I was like, oh God, those scales and all that. I was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. And it made me wince, but I still love the character. And that was another thing. She was very sexualized. And that movie was very lighthearted and it wasn't a sexual movie, but she was very sexualized. You know, she was so beautiful to everybody and so captivating and, and, and all of that's good, but it just had a sexual undertone to it. So I was like, how are we going to get past that? But they did it. They really did do it. Um, so I was saying, oh, gosh, now I'm scared of how she's going to look like her fishiness, you know, on her. I was like, is that going to make me wince? But they they did a wonderful job. When I looked at it, when you finally do see her, first of all, Hallie is beautiful. She's beautiful. And the hair was perfect. She doesn't, because she she is a melanated woman, okay? So she doesn't have Caucasian white woman red hair, okay? She's not just a Caucasian redhead woman. She literally has like a head full of like two strand twists or maybe they're dreads, whatever, but they're red and it's just gorgeous. And it has the whole flow and, and the thickness like it would be underwater how our hair would be underwater um and everything looks so good with her skin and looks so natural um again beautiful the makeup is not like oh she just got out the mat counter no i mean everything just very natural she looks very exotic but not sexual um she you definitely want to hug her and when you looked at her 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 fish part just beautiful just beautiful it it actually looked like as she's going through it looked like chiffon it looked like silk chiffon just just beautiful and beautiful colors and all of this with the water i was like oh my god i was like so pleased with it and i'm like this is great this is great and i really do have that fish thing really bad like literally it's all so ugly to me until it's cooked you know, like lobster, lobster's horrible looking when it's like black or gray or whatever those colors are until they cook it and it turns red. Once it's red, it's like, oh, cool. Hey, girl. You know, but before that, when she's moving and doing her thing, oh, oh, oh. even just frying fish, once it's fried, yummy. It looks so good, honey, when it's golden and fabulous. But when it's not cooked, just a slimy mess. I, ugh. So I was very satisfied with how she looked. I never had a question about the singing. I knew the singing would be dead on because with the way Hallie's voice is set up, she's perfect. She is perfect to be a Disney princess. Um, her range and her register, perfect for what she's going to be doing. And there she's singing the whole part of that world, little situation in the, the trailer just beautiful just beautiful just perfect everything is just perfect i will definitely be watching this movie because i wasn't really like i was like i love holly but i don't know that i'm gonna go see it because again i've never seen the actual cartoon movie but i will definitely be in a theater near you with my legs crossed and 
answer to my question is yes. Walt Disney got it absolutely right. It is absolutely perfect. And I am absolutely so excited about this. I was I was really proud of Hallie getting this role. I was proud that they you know, just the whole thing. I was it was there was a pride that I had for this. I was like, this is great. This is great. This is this is going to be groundbreaking. It's really going to be something. And I was happy with, you know, it was people that I really am rooting for that is involved. So I love that. But what I see what they've done with it, they have taken it as seriously as we have taken it. And it is just fantastic. So here we go. May 2023. The Little Mermaid featuring our girl, Holly Bailey. And baby, it is on like Donkey Call. And I will be right there. Anyway, if you all have seen the trailer, by all means, give me some comments. Tell me what you think. Um, I know I took you through a lot <laughs> with me in my own little situations. But hey, that's what I do here at the kitchen table. Listen, I will catch you guys later. And um, listen, we're on board. Get on board. Let's be excited because it is what it is. It'll be May 2023 before you know it. This year is wrapping up very fast, very fast. So I'm going to be at the theater. Are you? And, and, and feel like